What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today is going to be a much more casual video, but we're just going to go over the best loot that I've gotten, weapons, armor, new exotics, over the past week and a little bit, and talk about kind of what I've been using, why I've been using those certain items, what I think are good, you know, weapons, rolls, armor, perks, all of that stuff. So sit back, relax, grab some Doritos, and let's get started. So right now I'm just playing on my Hunter. I have all three characters going right now, but again, we're just using Hunter just for whatever's sake. And frankly, in terms of subclasses, I really do like um, the Gunslinger subclass. The Way of a Thousand Blades is honestly, or a Thousand Cuts, is honestly insane. Like, Blade Barrage, I really, really enjoy this super. It's... I've gotten probably more seven orb supers with Blade Barrage than I like ever have with Nova Bomb, honestly. It covers a much larger area than Nova Bomb, and it kind of comes in two volleys. Like if I jump in the air, I can Blade Barrage and whip it up and Blade Barrage again. So I can get like a group of enemies here and here really quickly in one Blade Barrage, which is impossible with the Nova Bomb. You just have to pick one group of enemies. Um, so that's a, a really big feature. Against the Singleton targets, it does a lot of damage. And the melee, the Fan of Blades melee, Holy crap, if you have Brawler, that thing is insane. It has a perk where if you um, get a kill on a burning enemy, yeah, so it burns any enemies you hit with it, knife trick, and if you kill a guy with a that's burning, it recharges your knife quicker. So you just melee a guy, you don't even have to kill him with the melee, you can shoot him to death because he'll be burning, and it recharges your melee faster, stacks up to three times, and with times three, oh my goodness, that thing recharges fast. And again, with Brawler, if that's active in a strike, you can go through the entire strike, no lie, just using your melee. It's ridiculous. It's so much fun. Um, in terms of other subclasses I really enjoy, for the Warlock, the Attunement of Grace is unbelievable, where you plant um, your sword in the ground. It gives you like a two times damage bonus. It's absurd for melting bosses. Titan, um, really like the Void Titan just for its uh, usability. The Solar Titan, uh, it's really fun, but in terms of usability, in terms of damage output, I'm not sh so sure anymore. So that's how I'm feeling with the subclasses. Now let's get on to the weapons. Right here, this is kind of my baby right now. This is the main thing I'm using. This is the Dreaming City Auto Rifle, the Tiger Spite. And I got a roll with Kill Clip. Triple tap, yes, you can get triple tap on auto rifles. Um, oh, well, this one specifically, ricochet rounds, and I just have um, a barrel to give it a little bit more stability. Now, this is a very, very good gun, and triple tap on an auto rifle is exactly as bro broken as you would assume. Now, can't get these guys here because they're far away, but once you get it going on a, on a boss enemy, it's, it's, it's just you're getting back so much ammunition it's kind of absurd. Now, I'm talking about, you know, big servitors and, and, and end of strike bosses that just kind of stand there or any sort of yellow health enemy, you know, knights, yellow bar knights, hallowed knights. They have big heads you can take forever to shoot. And if you think about triple tap, it's not like just having a 30% extended magazine. It's more than that because the rounds you're getting back also trigger with triple tap. So you're capable of, I mean, I have a 33 round magazine and I've shot... Uh, it's got to be got to be around 60-ish rounds at, at one point before reloading. Now, triple tap with kill clip is actually kind of a non-bow combo, right? Kill clip, you want to be reloading as much as possible. Triple, cha triple tap prevents that, actually. So this would be a much better roll if it had, instead of um, kill clip, it had rampage. But it's two very good perks. I'm not going to pass it up. It was a very, obviously, highlight weapon. So that's kind of my main squeeze for my primary weapon. As for other things I really like, this is a cool one. The Warden's Law. All right, so this is actually the Strike Exclu- or sorry, Nightfall Exclusive Hand Cannon for the new Prison of Elders Strike. And this thing is actually really unique. So I got it with Outlaw and Kill Clip. That is a wombo, all right? That triple tap of Kill Clip is a nombo. This is the wombo right here. Very, very good roll. Uh, appended Meg to add an extra round in. We could go with steady rounds too. Um, also, this is the unique part, aggressive burst, an intrinsic perk where hard hitting two burst fire. That's right. If you shoot this gun, I'll try to show you guys here. It will, it looks like it's one, one round, but it actually shoots two. I don't know if you can kind of see those little tiny lights on top of each other. 
um, but it shoots two bullets instead of one. Now, if you look at the magazine, it's only going down by one. Um, it's basically just shooting one bullet, and you can even see only one damage number appears most of the time because the bullets are so close. Oh, 93, 93. Sure, you oh, 93, 93. So you guys can see there, that's a good example of I shot once and I got two damage numbers. Um, when you're getting positions, like I said, though, often it'll just be one number because the rounds are so close together, it kind of treats them as one. And obviously, you know, getting a couple headshots, reloading, and just being able to pick people away with um, kill clip is absurd. I've actually used this a bit in PvP, and it's very unwieldy. This is a very slow shooting weapon. You know, like, this is as fast as it can shoot. But when you do get that uh, kill clip going, it's a two-hit kill. Uh, in my experience, like, I hit someone with for 113 damage in the head. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty absurd when you get that going. Um, very, like, just very unique, fun gun to use. I hope this is kind of the standard for what we can expect for Nightfall guns because, you know, it's not, it's different than your average hand cannon. And funny enough, though, funny enough, though, um, it, it actually does come with random rolls. Like, I got Kill Clip and Outlaw. I had some other people who did not get anywhere near as good of a roll. So these Nightfall exclusive loot pieces, they're unique because of their, the way they are. Again, this is a two-burst hand cannon. All right, let's check out another gun here. We have the Go Figure. I actually really, really like this pulse. Um, this is a four-round burst pulse rifle, and it is it has Head Seeker and Outlaw. So it actually shoots kind of slow, but as you can see, I'm doing four rounds per burst. I go from 40 to 36, right? This thing is actually, I believe, capable of a two-burst headshot. Uh, sorry, a two-burst kill in PvP as long as you hit your headshots. Now, the thing is, with this weapon, as you can see, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a wall test, it kinda does have a, that little recoil there. You can see it clearly wants to kick up and to the left, like very clearly. You know, it's 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 extremely consistent. Like, look, at the, the, the distance between top and bottom is the same for all these bursts. So when you do have enemies that, you know, you're trying to shoot people, you're trying to shoot from anywhere, any distance, like this distance, it's hard to get the consistent headshots. But that's where Head Seeker comes into play. You know, you just aim for the chest on a person. And even if you get one or two shots on the chest, the other burst goes up to the head and you get a headshot every single time. Like, it, it climbs vertically every single time. Now, this with a mod to increase the accuracy, to increase the stability would be even better. But I, 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 again, I do enjoy this in PvP. It's nothing, I'm not even gonna pretend this is top tier, it's just something I personally like. In PvE, it, it's actually done the trick. I ran this in Gambit and so on, and it, it's pretty good at killing um, just normal enemies as well. It packs a punch for a burst, which is exactly what you want. So that's another thing I enjoy. Now, moving on from there, in terms of primary weapons, the last one I'm gonna show you guys, this bad boy. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys have seen this on PvP, the Dusk Rock Blues. This thing's ridiculous. Kinetic weapon, you know, range is absurd. I luckily got mine as a range masterwork. And the perks I have are not that good. It's actually a PvE roll. I've got Rampage and Field Prep. Um, field Prep is actually pretty good. Like increasing the ammo reserves for secondary weapons, is very very beneficial because like secondary ammo actually spawns more than you think and so you want to make the time where you're not using your shotgun and you are getting drops you want to make that time beneficial to you so you want to be having as much reserves as possible so that when you do need your shotgun you have a ton of reserves um rampage another good pve perk but again i've, I've ended up uh, I even have tactical mag uh, because I was using it in PvE, but PvP obviously switch over to accurized and yeah, maxed out range here. And yeah, I, I've definitely enjoyed this in PvP. It's been kicking people's butts, it, you know, in terms of a one-shot kill potential, it's across the map. You just snipe people with this thing. Very, very good. And that's great when you're using an energy weapon like the inaugural dress. Sure, again, you guys have seen this, but this thing is the PvP bee's knees right now. Like, Kill Clip, Outlaw, yes, it doesn't have as many perks as the new guns. It, it just doesn't. So if you can find, like, a nine, uh, 390 rounds per minute pulse, because this archetype is really good, with these perks, and then more perks, you know, Drop Mag or Appended Mag or whatever else, right? It's going to be better. But the thing is that this comes with this guaranteed roll, and this is such a wombo combo. The stability, like, all the stats are very good. So, with the inaugural and PvP, it's just like a very easy 
three round burst like you see an enemy you just go one two three they're dead reload really fast because of outlaw and then just just crush like it it does 41 damage per headshot once it has a kill clip going it, it it really is a very fantastic weapon if you have it definitely try it out like i know it's an old weapon and you want to try the new stuff but it's definitely worth trying out now as for some other things to be honest what i've been running non-stop is this it's just the escalation shotgun trench barrel is so unbelievably good um just for, you know getting a melee and increasing damage by an absurd amount this is just going to out dps you know any other shotgun it, its perks are not that good like in terms of the rest of the perks you know wh what do we have here um moving target threat detector who cares like these are not good perks right tactical megs okay but you know if you get a shotgun that's in this um fast firing archetype another great thing is it has this um rapid fire frame so it automatically comes with full auto very very good but if you get another rapid fire frame shotgun with kill clip and rampage and, and yeah that those are two way better perks than what the Ikelos is rocking except for the fact that it has the unique perk trench barrel and that's just going to make its dps just higher higher than any other gun out there and it's been very very beneficial um to have in fact um one of the things I did do because I've been liking the Tiger Sprite so much is I did put a mod on it and I put um, Major Spec on. So if I was dealing with those uh, enemies that I did need to deal with right away, Hollow Knights and so on, it would be better against them. Honestly, I might actually change to Minor Spec just because when there's a yellow bar, you switch to your Escalation, switch to your Shotgun, and you destroy them so quickly. That's where I find most of the yellow bars are dying to is my is my uh Ikelos. now some other things i want to share with you guys um something else i've been using actually quite a bit is a bow um so this here uh arsenic bite there's this and the subtle calamity is another one but if you get a bow and this one always kind of comes with the same role for whatever reason but if you get a bow and it comes with explosive and another half decent perk bows are very very good in nightfalls and I, some of you may not expect me to say that. What, what are you talking about? Bows are really good in nightfalls. But yes, bows are really good in nightfalls. Why? Well, honestly, in the times that I've done the 100,000 uh, points thing, which I've done you know, in all three characters every week, bows have been like the MVP. Even in a nightfall, if you're, even if you're like you know, 10 light behind or whatever, bows are still capable of, of you know, two-shot headshots. Like, you'll see a powerful cabal. You'll kind of come around the corner, shoot... Kind of come around the corner, shoot, and he's dead, right? And that's quicker than picking away at an auto rifle. And the important part about bows is you come out of the corner and you shoot, you go back into cover. You're not getting shot at. You come back out and you shoot the guy again. That's why bows are good at nightfalls. If you, you have an auto rifle and I'm trying to pick away at this guy over and over and over again, it's not going to end well for me because he's going to be shooting me back. And also, if you get an energy bow like this one, you know, if you're running match game especially, um... That, which you, if you're going for 100,000, you basically have to. It's very effective. Like, it can take down their shields in just a few shots. You know, three shots, their shields are down. Explosive tip also makes it so that there's any lower tier enemies around, you're damaging them as well. So, that, so that, it's, it's honestly something that I wouldn't have considered, but after using it, very effective. Now, continuing on from there, like, I got a god roll sidearm, but I never use it. But moving on from there, we've got heavies. Last night... I got the Queen Breaker. Very happy to get this. Um, this thing is... I, I was surprised when I got it. It's in the heavy slot. But yes, it's Queen Breaker is back. It's a linear fusion rifle. And, you know, classic. It got it aimed on sight so fast. Like, what even is this gun? That's so fast. So I haven't used this a ton. Looking forward to trying it out. Possibly we'll do you know a video when I actually use it. But I don't really have anything to tell you guys right now. Again, got it late last night. Just excited to get it. It's It does have the classic... Uh, you can switch between marksman sights um, and combat sights. Combat sights, you know, decreasing the charge time quite a bit. Ooh, that's a, that's a real fast firing. Oh, wow, it actually kind of glitched up there. Okay, these are the combat sights. All right, and it, that is the rate of fire. So, yeah, v again, kind of weirded out to see that in the heavy slot. Now, something else I got that I have used quite a bit and I do really love, and I want to show you guys, the Black Talon. Let me grab some actual heavy here. Perfect timing. So the Black Talon, this thing is ridiculous. Basically, the Black Talon is a pocket Dawnblade. 
And if you're like, what do you mean by that? What do you mean pocket dawn blade? Well, it's a dawn blade that you can equip. Like anytime you do this attack here, I'm gonna try to snipe some cabal over here. Anytime you do this attack, ready? Boom! And it'll go and it actually will follow targets a little bit. It will actually change directory, as trajectory should say. It'll change its trajectory to get targets. Like it will actually have a little bit of auto aim in there. A little bit of seeking properties. Now if you're attacking enemies directly, you do this really weird like, you smack like that, it just does like a lot of damage. But I've invaded in Gambit with this and I've used this in PvP. And it's very, very good. People are shooting at you and they don't expect you to just swing and launch a seeking projectile that's exactly like a Dawn Blade. It literally, you know, it is literally the exact coding from the Dawn Blade put into a sword. And it's, it's very good. It's very effective. It's so good at killing people. If you invade with it on Gambit, if you're being invaded and you just see a guy like across the map, you can go. And if he, he he'll likely not move because he's not really sure what's coming at him. And this thing will kind of, you know, it'll change his where it's going just a little bit to make sure it hits them and it's always a one-hit kill every single time so i love this sword it's, it's very very good but if i'm being perfectly honest the thing i'm using non-stop day in day out is the sleeper simulant like this is the thing that i go to every single time masterwork of course and it's so good the sleeper simulant was supposed to have gotten a slight here. I'm gonna get out here because I don't want, I'm not gonna participate in this public event, but the sleep, I'm just gonna end up here. The sleeper simulant was supposed to have gotten nerfed, right? It's supposed to have been nerfed, and quite frankly, it was not. Like, in the patch notes, it said reduce damage, and to compensate for that, they increased the magazine to three. Well, unless damage was reduced by 2%, I didn't notice it. Like, I'm sure it actually was, but it's such a minuscule number that I, ne I I'd never notice it. It's absurdly good. It packs such a punch. You know, you go into a lost sector and you just two hit someone with this thing and they're dead. Two rounds from a sleeper and lost sector bosses are dead. Of course, you guys know this thing is terrorizing Gambit. But in terms of DPS, it takes down escalation bosses. It takes down um, it takes down everything you want to take down and the. Th Thing, the reason I like it so much is it's so much more versatile, I would definitely say. Like when you're packing the sleeper over something like the Whisper of the Worm, which you don't have on this character, but the Whisper of the Worm is another fantastic gun. DPS wise, it'll probably outperform the sleeper. But if someone is charging at you medium range, if there's a big guy around the distance that this guy is who's charging at you, this drag, you can, you can kind of walk backwards, charge, and hit him with the sleeper really easily. Whereas if you had the Whisper, you're not really going to do that. The Whisper is good in very specific boss fights. You know, if this Argus is here, and you have the Whisper, and you're just like picking away at him. But in bosses that move around, charge you against just normal yellow bars that you're going to find leading up to the boss, that's where the sleeper is unreal, and I've just been using it nonstop. It's so good. Now, that's it for the weapons. Let's change over here. Let's talk a little bit about the armor. All right, now I'm not going to spend too much time on the armor, like saying, this is good for hunters, whatever. Um, you know, I haven't gotten a ton of new exotics. So the old exotics, Orpheus Rig is still good, even though it got a nerf. Um, I just have it on randomly. Uh, I could put this on instead. Speaking of this, anytime you got Riven's Curse stuff, it's very good. Um, this unique armor mod, while in the Dreaming City, you deal more damage, but also take more damage from all sources. So, it turns out your more damage is 5% more damage for each one of these. So if you have a full set of Riven's Gear, you're doing 25% more damage, and the incoming damage you take is like negligible. It's like you take 1% per mod. So you're, at the end of the day, I think something like you're gonna be doing 25% more damage and taking 5% more damage. That, that's definitely a better deal for you. And so I would definitely, if you're, especially if you're running the raid, if you're doing anything in the Dreaming City, putting on these uh, Reverie Dawn armor pieces are very, very, very good. Now, as for other perks I really enjoy on armor, um, where's my, uh, this thing. So, normally you want finders. When you are in PvE, you want finder. Special ammo finder or heavy ammo finder. Here, I'm getting shot at. 
that's just going to make more of that ammo type drop. And either one is good. You know, it's like more escalation ammo or more sleeper ammo. I'm very happy with either of those, right? I'm very happy with either of those. But if you're in PvP, if you're fighting other players, you actually want this. You want Scavenger. Scavenger makes it so that, again, this makes it more likely to drop, which isn't happening in pvp really because you know enemies either have it or they don't right but scavenger makes you get bonus reserves when you pick it up so if you have shotgun scavenger and you're running a shotgun it's going to mean that in pvp when you pick up a brick and you would have gotten one you're going to get two instead that type of thing if you're going to pick up two i think you might even get three instead so that's how you want scavenger for pvp and then you want finder for pve that, that's kind of how that works. In terms of other things, um, basically it's just whatever you're using. Kinetic weapon targeting, because I'm, I'm not using a sidearm. Unfortunately, you know, reserves isn't coming up. I would much rather have this be linear fusion rifle reserves, obviously. My armor setup isn't great right now because I'm kind of just using my higher stuff rather than stuff I, I really, really enjoy. Um, anything like this, you know, linear fusion rifle aim is great for when I'm using a linear fusion rifle. Obviously, I'd rather this be auto rifle aim because I'm using my auto rifle so much more, that type of stuff. Um, so you know, there isn't really too much to go into in terms of armor. Basically, use stuff that's going to affect your weapons. You know, armor is kind of secondary to weapons. Armor complements weapons, and that's how you need to think about it, is that you get your favorite weapons together. Like if, you know, if this is my favorite loadout my, is my Tiger Sprite, our tiger spite my ikalos shotgun and my sleeper well that means i'm looking for stuff that's going to give me more shotgun ammo or more linear fusion rifle ammo that's going to improve linear fusion rifles shotguns or auto rifles that is the way your thinking should be is my armor is used to complement and improve my favorite weapons loadout and all right, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tour through my loot pool talking about stuff I liked. Um, if you guys, you know, if you guys did enjoy this video, let me know in the comment section. Maybe next week, you know, after the raid and all that, I can do another one of these videos, talk about, you know, other god rolls I got, stuff I'm liking, all that stuff. Uh, so, yeah, let me know if you like this video and you want to see more of this kind of casual live commentary style of inventory review. Guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.